Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and this time we're going to go over the fire types that are found within Kanto. So starting off our list is going to be Charizard. So Charizard's actually a pretty good fire type. 78 HP, 84 attack, 78 defense, 109 special attack, 85 special defense, and 100 speed. So this thing has a pretty good um, speed stat at 100. And 109 is actually a pretty good special attack stat, too. And this thing also has the flying typing, so that could come in handy in many points within the game. Um, but we can't just talk about Charizard without mentioning that it has two Mega Forms. So what we've seen um, from previous um, trailers of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is that um, you don't really need a Mega Stone to Mega of all of your specific Pokemon. So um, you actually have the choice of Mega Charizard X or Y after you sent out your Charizard. So Mega Charizard X, um, that flying typing is actually changed out for the dragon typing. This thing has 70 H HP, 130 attack, 111 defense, 130 special attack, 85 special defense, and 100 speed. So it still has that good speed stat. Um, and this thing is actually really good. Um, it's got the highest um, attack stat out of all the fire types here. Um, of course, it is mega formed, and we don't know right now if mega forms are in post game or if you're going to have access to it. Um, but 130 is a really good attack stat. Um, it's actually got the same attack stat as Flareon, so once we get to Flareon, we're going to talk more about that. But this thing has a really good defense stat too. It's got the best defense out of all the fire types here in Kanto at 111. Um, and 130 special attack stat. This thing can be a physical attacker or a special attacker, whatever you need it. And it also covers that dragon typing, um, just in case you really needed something um, with the dragon typing. Um, Charizard would give you the flying, fire, and dragon um, types that you would need on your team. And we're going to look at Mega Charizard Y now. This thing has 78 HP, 104 attack, 78 defense, 159 special attack, 115 special defense, and 100 speed. So out of all the fire types here in Kanto, Mega Charizard Y has the best special defense and the best special attack. 159, that hits really hard. Um, it's going to do a lot of damage on a lot of Pokemon. Of course, you're not going to have the Drought ability here in this game, but uh, 159 is a really good speed stat. So looking at Charizard, I think Charizard is a really solid pick if you need a Fire-type Pokemon. Um, if, you, if, if you're able to use Megas during the main storyline, Mega Charizard X and Y are going to be overpowering um, your opponents. Next up is Ninetales, and we're actually using the shiny artwork for Ninetales. Um, but let's look at Ninetales. This thing has 73 HP, 76 attack, 75 defense, 81 special attack, 100 special defense, and 100 speed. So Ninetales is pretty solid. Um, it's got a good speed stat, good special defense as well. Its special attack stats on the lower side, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's kind of going to hold it back, but it does get some really good um, moves. It gets Energy Ball, um, and it also gets, um, of course, your Fire-type moves that you would need. Um, so yeah, I do think Ninetales actually has a good moveset that makes it really good, um, but that stat is going to hold it back. Um, but if you really need a good Fire-type, um, Ninetales would pull its weight, I would say. Next up is Arcanine, and Arcanine's actually a pretty solid pick as well. Uh, it's got 90 HP, 110 Attack, 80 Defense, 100 special attack, 80 special defense, and 95 speed. So 95 speed is actually a decent speed stat. Um, and it's got 110 physical attack, so this thing can hit things pretty hard. And it's also got 100 special attack. That's going to be um, really useful if you want to have like a mixed attacking set on your Arcanine. Um, that's really good. Plus, Arcanine has really good bulk as well. Um, 80 defense with that 90 HP. Um, it can live quite a few hits, actually. Um, so I do think Arcanine is a really solid pick, especially if you're unable to use Megas in the main storyline. Um, Arcanine probably would be better than Charizard at that point. Um, but yeah, there's a reason that this thing is known as the Legendary Pokemon, and it's because it is a really good bulky Pokemon that hits hard, and it's got decent speed to boot. So the next Fire-type on our list is going to be Rapid Dash. 
Um, so Rapidash has 65 HP, 100 attack, 70 defense, 80 special attack, 80 special defense, and 105 speed. So out of all the fire types here in Kanto, this is actually the fastest fire type. Um, but I do have to say that this thing is kind of not really going to be the best fire type, I would say. Um, it does have a good attack stat at 100. Um, but as we've already seen, there are some other fire types that have a better attack stat, like Arcanine for one. And, I mean, 105 is a good speed stat. If you need a fast fire type, Rapidash is the one that I would say go for. Um, but keep in mind that this thing's going to have to be a physical attacker. AD special attack, while you could do some things with that, it's on the lower side. So, um, this is an, a decent uh, physical attacking fire type. But if you pick Rapidash, it's for that 105 speed that's going to help outspeed specific things. So now we go to Alolan Marowak. Alolan Marowak is actually a pretty good pick if you need a bulky fire type. Um, it's got 60 HP, 80 attack, 110 defense, 50 special attack, 80 special defense, and 45 speed. So um, out of all the fire types, this will be the slowest, and it's... It's not the one with the best defense, that one goes to Mega Charizard X, but out of all the base fire types, um, this one has the best defense. Um, and it's also got a ghost typing, which is actually a pretty cool um, dull typing for a Pokemon to have, Fire Ghost. The main problem I see with this thing though is that 80 attack is going to hold it back. Um, it's not the best attack stat for any Pokemon. And the th reason it works best in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon is because you have held items, you can give it a thick club, and that doubles that attack stat, so it's a really crazy attack stat. But here we don't have any held items, so this thing is not going to be that great on your team. Um, yeah, it's only got 80 attack, and that's not going... There's so many other things that are way better, so um, use it if you really want to, but I would say skip this one, have a fire type, pick another ghost type if you really want a ghost type, and skip Alolan Marowak. So the next Pokemon on our list is going to be Magmar. Um, so Magmar has 65 HP, 95 attack, 57 defense, um, 100 special attack, 85 special defense, and 93 speed. So that's a decent speed stat at 93. Um, you'll be able to outspeed a lot of key things. And it's got a really good um, special attack stat, 100, um, and a decent attack stat as well, 95. But um, this thing has a really low defense stat, so you don't want it to come in and take a physical attack at all. Um, 57 is actually the lowest out of all the fire types in terms of defense. Um, and also, this thing is a Pokemon that's got an evolution in later generations, and it really needed it because um, this thing is not really going to be that great on your team. Um, but if you want to try it out, go ahead, try out Magmar. Um, I would skip this one. There's so many other fire types that does a lot of things better. Um, so go ahead and use something else. So the next fire type on our list is going to be Flareon. Flareon has 65 HP, 130 attack, 60 defense, 95 special attack, 110 special defense, and 65 speed. So um, this thing's actually on the slower side. Um, but the thing that you want to have a Flareon for is that really good special defense stat and that wonderful attack stat. 130, that's going to be able to hit things pretty hard. Of course, um, you're going to have to hope that you're able to survive hits with this thing because it is slow. But I would say if, it, if you have access um, to Flame Charge, it's going to help out your Flareon a lot. And 130 attack, um, this thing is got the highest attack stat of all the fire types um, tied with Mega Charizard X. Um, so this thing will hit things really hard. Um, I would say use a Flareon, but keep in mind that it's going to be pretty slow and it's going to be kind of difficult to let it, you know, live hits and then hit things back. But once you do hit things, it's going to be really good. And the last fire type that we will look at here in Kanto is going to be Moltres. Moltres has the fire flying typing, um, just like Charizard. Um, it's got 90 HP, 100 attack, 90 defense, 125 special attack, 85 special defense, and 90 speed. So this thing's got a decent speed stat at 90. Got, it's got really good special attack stat at 125. And it's got decent bulk as well. Um, the problem is, is the same problem with Charizard. It's kind of weak to rock type moves. But um, 
and you actually probably find this later on in the game because I remember in yellow you actually find it in Victory Road so I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Pokemon that's only found really late game um, but that being said um, Moltres is a solid Pokemon um, if you really want to use one um, go ahead um, it's got really good stats that 125 special attack stat that is really good that is the best special attack stat um, other than you know Mega Charizard X and Y um, but yeah, if you want to use this thing, go ahead. Um, I know a lot of people don't like using legendary Pokemon, but um, if you decide you want to use a fire type that's also a legendary, Moltres is here for you. So that's going to be our look at the fire types. What fire type are you picking on your team um, for this game? Um, in a previous video, I said I would really like to try out Arcanine because I've never really used it on an in-game team, so I think um, Arcanine is a really solid pick. There's a lot of actually really decent fire types here um, that will do the job. So, um, which one are you picking? Um, give this a like, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.